Another fun creature to make is a monkey. Take a little bit more of your clay, round it up to create the head, and then you might want to pinch it just a little bit to create the nose portion in the front where his mouth will be. And using your um, sculpting tool, form some eyeballs up in the top. And then where the mouth is that you just pinched out. And then the two holes for the nose. And the head is now pretty well ready for the rest of the body. Now for the body, take a little bit more so that's in proportion to your head here. Round it out again and elongate it to assemble it. While it's still damp, it will adhere and stay. And then it can continue on with making his ears. Take a little bit more and roll it out. Cut it in half so that you have two identical amounts. And round them out again. Now what you want to do is pinch them a little bit to create a bit, of a, a bit of a pocket. You've got the end of your sculpting tool. Create the bit of a pocket and attach it to the head. And using your sculpting tool, you can pinch it right against it. Okay, we're going to make the arms and legs next, so we'll take a little bit of the dough and roll it out. and cut them equally right down through the middle. These will be the legs. Flatten it out a little bit at the end to create the foot. In this case we'll make the toes in here. And the same with the other one. And then attach it to it. And do the same thing for the arms above. You'll attach one on there at the shoulder and then of course attach it to the side there. Take just a little bit more and we'll create the tail on the back side of him. So roll it out and attach the tail of course in the back. And give it just a little bit of a curl to the back to create the monkey that will eventually hang as it's dry. You let it dry overnight and then it'll hang from a tree in a position like that. By now the monkey is dry, so let's continue to work on him. We've already got the first portion painted as the face and the belly and the hands and paws. Uh, now what we're going to do is continue to finish painting him and putting the fur on at the same time. Now we're going to use a brown. Put the paint wherever you want the fur to stick. Now you take the fur and just dab it onto it like this. And wherever you do that, it will stick and dry that way. As you can see, the monkey now has hair on his head and the back portions of his ear. And then take some more of the fur and push it into it. And as you can see, the monkey is now finished. And this can be used for many other things as well. I mean, larger monkeys, of course, gorillas. Uh, you might have some kind of a furry dog that you make or, or you know, whatever your mind comes up with. So have fun with it.